Hi, welcome to another video as a pre-classroom work of yours for Pulse 203 Research Methods course. I'm Bash Chalaj that guides, not instruct you throughout this flipped course. At the outset, a clue is due uh, for how to make use of the videos. I already made this point at the start of the semester, but it's good to repeat uh, for human memory definitely needs repetition. Uh, I'm of the opinion that it's best to watch this video twice. Not consecutively though, uh, that is one after another, not like that, but um, uh, one watch is right now you're watching. And the second uh, watch should be two days after this first view of yours. That helps consolidating the points. Today I'm going to shortly touch upon the crux of how to go about editing your drafts drafts of your research paper. Uh, next video will soon be on sections of a scholarly research paper and how to write those sections. It'll soon be posted on uh, Blackboard following this one you're, you're watching. And yes, why do we edit our drafts anyway? We do that simply because there is no better alternative to successfully write a paper. And uh, okay, how to edit drafts? First, we should have an understanding of the big picture. Many people believe that they only need to edit their work for spelling mistakes and grammar. However, if the basic structure of the paper doesn't work, verifying the spelling and making sure that commas are in the right place won't help. So, in order to make sure that you're communicating what you intended to uh, and that your ideas are presented in a logical way, in a consistent way, use the you should be using the following checklist that I'm gonna uh, mention uh, shortly, which uh, the checklist also will be distributed in clause. Class. So, in order to make sure that you're communicating what you intended to communicate and that your ideas are presented in a logical and consistent way, you should be using the following checklist that I'll be mentioning shortly. And this checklist will also be distributed in class in the next, next session of our uh, classroom discussion. So the first item of the checklist is what I have written fits the assignment, both in terms of content and format. So you should be going over questioning yourself, did I uh, answer the requirements of the uh, assignment? That is, content is OK, format is OK. You're, you'll be asking yourself these questions. I have already dealt into the issues of what content is and or what format is at the last classroom section. So we, we, we've been through this, uh, what is content and um, what is format subjects. Yet that was a start, yeah? We get started into those, uh, with those subjects. I made you smell it. You will digest it in the next, next session in classroom discussion. For the moment, it's enough to recall that what you wrote must match assignments required content and format. The second item of the checklist that you should be remembering while editing your first draft or the second draft is that your thesis must be written in one clear sentence. It must be neat and concise. Your thesis, that is, in other words, claim, assertion, your, your, your answer to your research questions set at the beginning of your uh, research. The, it should be concise and it, it'll be best if it comes in just one sentence. Another item yet uh, is I have provided adequate background information for the topic of my paper. This should be the question to answer on your own. Have you provided adequate background information for the topic of your paper? Uh, you wrote your first draft or the second draft and at the end of these first or second draft, you'll be asking yourself these questions to edit your draft on your own and successfully. Why do you edit this on your own? You can hire somebody to uh, edit it or you, can, um, uh, you, can, you, may, you might ask uh, for help from a friend or a professional. Uh, it is possible, but it's not advised. Uh, for it is best to do it on your own to learn how to write. If they do it, they'll learn the stuff, not you. So, uh, you should be asking yourself, have I uh, provided 
in this draft of mine adequate information uh, about the topic of my paper. That means uh, also uh, have I provided adequate information? Have I written enough about my dependent variable? As we already discussed in the classroom, dependent variable is the uh, subject matter that we are dealing with, the essence of the thing that uh, we are trying to understand. So uh, as you remember, again, independent variable is the factor that gives rise to the dependent variable. In turn, uh, is the um, subject matter that we are trying to understand better. So each uh, uh, variable is uh, in its place, and you should be making sure at the end of your uh, draft, while editing your draft, you should be sure that you provided enough information about your dependent variable. Let me give an example. Uh, one of uh, my um, students' research question is, what factors best explains um, uh, Hebdo, Charlie Hebdo type of terrorism? So uh, in answering this uh, research question, in, in giving a thesis about it and a claim or a, um, um, uh, providing a explanation, we should first, we should first um, uh, provide that is written in our draft uh, enough information about the uh, dependent variable that is the incident of the Charlie Hebdo type of terrorist attack. So we should be uh, giving the background and the foreground factors. So, um, yeah, let's move on to another item of the checklist. Each of my chunks links back to the thesis in the same way. So each of the parts of my uh, uh, written stuff as a draft should link back to your original claim, answer, or thesis. In, and in the same way. That's consistency. No contradictory two points should exist uh, between your paragraphs. Uh, no contradictory points should act exist uh, that cancels your main argument. So with it, within each chunk or part of your draft, uh, you should uh, introduce state support and discuss. That is, within each chunk, uh, in each paragraph, that the, the chunk approximates to uh, a paragraph in your drafts, in a written thing, uh, you should introduce your sub-argument, state in a um, concise way what it is, and then support it, substantiate with data, and discuss the result that you drive from it. So that's a paragraph. That is how to make a paragraph and what to put in it, and of course, uh, that is knowing getting to know, actually, you're learning it, when do we need a separate paragraph? So that's another thing that to check upon when you edit your drafts. And another uh, item of our checklist uh, is that uh, you should be uh, checking yourself whether you use a variety of reliable academic resources to support your ideas. Uh, a variety of reliable academic resources you should be using and guys that is using math library, our li library. If you haven't used it yet, I mean if you haven't uh, used it yet, alarm bells, uh, alarm bells are ringing. It's not good news because uh, the, 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 it's, we're drawing, to, drawing close to the end. So you should be uh, more often visiting the library and finishing with the dependent variable research stuff. Uh, another item uh, to look for how to write the thing. Another uh, item to uh, check yourself is uh, about uh, paraphrasing. You should be paraphrase, para paraphrasing uh, using your, that is, you should be using your own words. You should put the thing you read in your own words. Uh, you should paraphrase the resources you use uh, more often than you quote them directly. So that's the professional tone, because that's how we do it in a scholarly article. I have used style guidelines consistently and correctly. Another uh, question 
as the item of the editing thing, uh, another question uh, you should ask yourselves, because you're editing your paper on your own, you should be asking yourself whether you, sh you, you, you consistently use the guidelines and whether you used it correctly, both in terms of in-text in -text citations and the references. Yeah? And this neat not explanation, it suggests itself well enough. Uh, and still another thing to bear in mind is uh, you should be writing your introduction. As I said in the class before, you should be writing your introduction after finishing or almost finishing your research literature review and after uh, finishing your uh, pondering and tinkering on it. Yeah? It's, it's almost settled in your mind. So the introduction of a draft of a paper uh, is not written at the beginning of the research. Introduction uh, locate is located in, in at, at the beginning of the paper, yet it is written as the last chunk. So uh, one of the final points, uh, least, uh, last but not least, is the, I am, the conclusion. The conclusion is important. Your conclusion uh, briefly summarizes the information in your paper and implies that there is still more to talk about. So you should indicate uh, what's the uh, 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 findings and the, the, the gist of the findings and uh, where it may uh, lead other researchers in the future and uh, what it leaves uh, behind uh, that is still more to, more to talk about. So this is uh, the roadmap for you to edit your thing, your first draft or the second draft or the third draft, until you make it better. So if you do it yourself by asking your questions, uh, these questions, and if you're uh, almost sure that you uh, have most of them right, if you did the thing that uh, these questions, this, these checklist items asks you of, uh, then you're doing a good stuff. And I'll be checking anyway uh, whether you do a good stuff or not. So this is the checklist that I want you to bear in mind and uh, refer often to see whether you're doing uh, a good job about writing. Please watch this video at least twice. So don't forget about it because um, it is um, important for the pedagogical thing to make yourself understand the stuff and not forget. Human memory is fallible and needs repetition. And the more you repeat, the better you learn. And yes, that's how you write your uh, research paper. How that's, uh, these are the, that's how you uh, go about your uh, research paper. And please bear in mind my uh, point, which I attest utmost importance about writing. Uh, keep simple and small when you write. See you. Bye.